In today's video, I want to give you guys a heads up on a major PlayStation Store sale and just PlayStation sale in general kicking off very soon. It's widely recognized as Sony and PlayStation's biggest sale of the year and it'll be kicking off very soon. We'll give you guys the details on Days of Play 2020. It possibly will be kicking off on May 25th. Also on top of that, that's May 25th, but there are some great deals available right now on Amazon as well as Best Buy. I'll take you guys through that. And Neo 2 is getting some updates as well as a photo mode, new mission, new DLC details and more. We'll go over that at the end of this video. First of all, PlayStation's annual Days of Play 2020 promotion is possibly kicking off this month on May 25th, which would line up with how it regularly happens every year. From the looks of it, PlayStation Days of Play 2020 promotion might well be kicking off later this month. The past few years, Sony scheduled its annual summer gaming deals promotion somewhere in June, but this year the promotion could start next week on May 25th. As spotted on the PS4 Reddit page some days ago, user Ahmed posted an image of Days of Play ad in German. According to the ad, the promotion will run from May 25th through June 8th. One of the included deals is a 30% off discount on a 12-month PlayStation Plus subscription card if that would carry over here stateside, which I imagine some of the deals would be widely different here in the States than it would be overseas, but 30% off would knock down the PlayStation Plus card to about $42. This is widely recognized as the best time of the year to re-up on your Plus subscription outside of this there's black friday but days of play is always a surefire good bet because chance star plus is going to be discounted and i do imagine that playstation now is going to be seeing a, a significant discount as well However, the main big deal about this is the fact that the PlayStation Store runs a bevy of discounts. Probably the most amount of deals happening at the same time is a part of their summer deals lineup. Last year's Days of Play deals were quite interesting with discounts on DualShock 4 controllers, headsets, PlayStation VR bundles, PS4 Slim deals, and discounts on major, major games. Usually this correlates with some kind of mass summer sale that does include a lot of discounts from third party, uh, third party developers. I don't recall if they run Days of Play and and then they run another separate summer sale. There's deals on both ends, and there's usually a bevy of deals available at all times during the summer. I would say the summer is kind of, uh, kind of widely recognized as the time period, not only on PlayStation, but just in general for great game deals. Summer is traditionally a time period where there aren't a lot of big games that are being released. This year, it's a little bit different with Ghost of Tsushima. Nevertheless, you've got things like the Days of Play sale, PlayStation Summer sale, and then Xbox also runs a summer sale, and then of course probably what popularized it all was the Steam Summer sale, and that'll be kicking off sometime in June as well, but as far as the PlayStation side of things go, Days of Play is definitely going to offer a lot of deals. Now it's interesting because this year, obviously chances are you're not going to be going in store, so the deals are going to be relegated more digital, but on Amazon, the physical deals will be available and your favorite e-tailer of choice. Chances are a lot of major PlayStation 4 exclusives are going to be heavily discounted. Those PlayStation Hits titles are usually down to $9.99 from $19.99. So there is a big opportunity to get a lot of great deals. Really speaking though, nowadays with how the PlayStation Store runs a sale every week seemingly, um, and concurrently a lot of the times where we're getting multiple sales in a given week, um, there isn't a lot of incentivization towards something like Days of Play. Yes, it's going to be more of a grandiose sale, uh, but we saw this on PC as well. The summer sale and the winter sale on Steam used to be these grandiose, huge events, and they still are these huge events, but nowadays you can find deals regularly across all platforms, but still there's something a little bit more exciting about so many deals being available at one time, and that's really what Days of Play and the summer sale is going to offer you. So let's hope it does kick off May 25th, but if not, it should be kicking off shortly thereafter. But based on the image posted, I do think it will be kicking off next week. Obviously, when the sales are posted, we'll give you guys a rundown of everything good that is available. All right, moving on from that, I do want to take a look at some great deals available right now. Neo 2 is down to $39.99. This is a really good buy on Neo 2, which a game that for a while wasn't seeing a lot of discounts. Obviously, it just came out back in March, I believe, so it's not like the game heralded a discount right away. Also, right now, we're going to go over it at the end of this video, but Neo 2 is getting some significant updates. The game itself is a good improvement over Neo 1. Is it completely reinventing the wheel? No, but as they always say, you don't need to change what isn't broken, and that's really the sentiment with Neo 2. It's still a very challenging game, but it's also incredibly rewarding rewarding at the same time and it does have some gameplay refinements that does add to the experience. It specifically notes fight to survive in this brutally savage massacre action role-playing game. Unleash your inner demon to wield the devastating powers of the supernatural yokai. Discover a revamped combat system with new weapons and skills. Journey through the mysterious dark realm, the demonic home of the yokai. Play with friends in co-op online multiplayer modes for up to three players. 
and a lot more. The visuals are great, the gameplay again very challenging but also incredibly rewarding at the same time and I think for $40 it is a pretty good buy right now. Next up, if you have yet to check out the excellence of Mod Runner World, I do want to note that the base game is available for $15 over on Amazon. This is a tremendous deal on Mod Runner World. Yes, you don't get the Iceborne expansion, however this still offers a sizable amount of content. The base Mod Runner World game can keep you busy for north of 100, 150, 200 hours, probably even longer than that because there is that level of replayability in this game that isn't matched by a lot of other games and if you do end up enjoying it well at that point you can also check out Monster Hunter World Iceborne that does extend the experience quite a bit on top of that for $15 I think this is a great buy would I recommend you to get the Master Edition yeah but that still goes for like $40 on sale so maybe not the best time to pick that up Maybe you want to wait for a deeper discount, or maybe you're just not completely sold on MHW. Well, then check out the base game, and then if you enjoy it, you can check out the full Iceborne expansion sometime down the line. Bayonetta and Vanquish 10th Anniversary Bundle is down to $29.99 on Best Buy. That is $10 off, so not a steep discount. However, this did just come out uh, three months ago exactly, actually, on February 18th. $30 for it is still really good. Bayonetta is an excellent game, and Vanquish is a game that I really want to see get some more love. I mean, I'm mainly saying that because at some point I do want to see Vanquish 2 actually become reality. At this point, it's been 10 years since Vanquish came out, so maybe I'm pushing my luck a little bit too much. Bayonetta, on the other hand, did see a level of success and a level of popularity that has warranted Bayonetta 2 and Bayonetta 3 is coming up on the Nintendo Switch. Nevertheless, Bayonetta 1 is great. If you never experienced that, definitely with this bundle, it's a great way to do so and Vanquish is an excellent game. Both of these games are rather short, Vanquish being incredibly short and probably the reason why that game didn't sell very, very well. I mean, those that played it really got a killer experience for the 4-6 to six hours that it lasted, but 4-6 to six hour game, that's $60. Yeah, that's not going to fly with a lot of people. Nevertheless, $30 for both titles I think is a good buy. So those are the deals available right now. I'll leave links to all of them in the description box below. And lastly, I do want to give you guys some updates on Neo 2, which is again on sale right now. Neo 2 gets photo mode, new missions today, and along with some DLC details. Tom Lee, creative director over at Team Ninja, posted on the PlayStation blog, noting, hello everyone, it's now been a couple of months since the release of Neo 2, and a lot has happened since then. To say the least, first of all, I'd like to thank all of our fans around the world for helping to make our latest in Goku era game become such a critically acclaimed global success. We can't thank you enough for your support. I'm here to share with you some of the details for our exciting update going into effect today as well as information regarding the highly anticipated DLC expansions. To start things off, today's major update will present some compelling new features such as a photo mode. This will be much more than a simple add-on feature as it'll feature in-depth camera settings like image exposure, gradation, lighting and tint adjustments, and a variety of dramatic filters. In addition, we are providing nine new missions, submissions, twilight missions as a part of this update. This is all a small part of our larger commitment to provide provide you guys with the most engaging gaming experience for Neo 2. There are also some DLC news. We're planning to release a total of three sizable and badass DLC batches over the next several months to provide you guys with additional challenges to keep you on the edge of your seat. There will be new storylines, new yokai, ferocious new bosses, guardian spirits, new skills, fresh armor, and a new weapon that alters the performance of skills outside of set stances. On top of that, new difficulty levels and end game content will be added to allow the campaign to grow longer, giving you guys even more content to start your summer gaming adventure. The first DLC expansion, the Tengu's Dis uh, Disciple will kick off on July 30th. Also, as an added bonus, they have prepared brand new wallpapers inspired by the upcoming DLC to keep you guys motivated, and you can check those out as well. Neo 2 making a lot of progress. It's cool to see the game being as well received as it has been, and again, it is down to $39.99 on Amazon right now, so that is something you can take a look at right now. That's going to conclude this video. Again, PlayStation's annual Days of Play 2020 could be kicking off on May 25th. A lot of great deals available. Leaving that in the description box below neo 2 gets photo mode and new missions today new dlc details have also dropped that's going to conclude this video sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye hey guys we hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you're already subscribed do us a favor and hit the bell icon this way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video that's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads and we usually try to upload two videos a day and with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.